Hello and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Gretchen Olivia and today we are going to be doing the 1010 Portal October Energy Report. Um, we're going to be tapping into the energies of this 1010 portal. Each month we go through these portals of activations of energies of specific light codes and frequencies that basically get released to the earth during these monthly cycles. And this month with the 1010 portal, it's really, really interesting. One, we are in Libra season, um, which is basically highlighting all of these areas that need balance in our life, that may be out of balance. Uh, it's really highlighting in our life, yeah, like helping us to reflect and, and really look at how we can bring more harmony in our lives. What can we let go of? What can we begin? Um, you know, it's like it's bringing that divine balance back into our lives. The, you know, Libra rules the seventh house and seventh house Libra is about justice. It's about karmic justice. So, if you have been doing your inner work, which I trust that you have because you're watching our channel and you've been doing that inner work and you've been really allowing yourself to slow down during all of these crazy retrogrades and, you know, keep continuously like practicing spiritual hygiene, practicing spiritual maintenance, meditating, grounding, coming back to center, eating healthy foods, you know, taking care of yourself or having one of those, I saw a meme, they call it like a sad girl day, where some days like, yeah, you're like total boss and you get all these things done. And then some days, yeah, you're curled up in your bed crying. And both of those days are totally fine and acceptable on your healing process. And it's sort of recognizing and realizing that I have ups and downs and really allowing yourself to come to that fluctuation that feels right to you. You know, we, you know, it's, it's really noticing the rhythms and cycles of your life. And that's something our ancestors were greatly connected to, you know, those, the seasons, the rhythms and cycles of, of the earth and living in harmony with that. So it's, it's taking that step back and being like, okay, how can I be living in more harmony with my body, with the earth, with with my environment, with my relationships? How can I have more harmony? And is there something that I need to let go of that could bring more of that harmony, more of that peace, love, and compassion into my life? Um, I was pulling goddess cards this morning and Kuan Yin totally was like flip, flew out of the deck. Uh, Kuan Yin in the goddess deck that I have is, is compassion. And it says, release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within you and everyone. Um, this is, you know, I'm feeling a lot of Ma'at energy too. And Ma'at was um, an Egyptian goddess. I actually pulled, pulled her card too. Um, and her card says fairness. Um, this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. And um, we also got <laughs> Isis came out with past life. Uh, this situation involves your past life memories. And um, also Damara, guiding children, came out too. Uh, you're good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. What I keep picking up on is that... <sighs> You know, we keep hearing about the big solar flash, the big solar flare that's going to be happening. And when that happens, I feel like a lot of us light workers are being held in sort of this suspended animation almost. Because I don't know if you've been feeling like this, but for like the last week, I have felt like, actually like the past month, I have felt like I've been in this like interesting daydream. And everything has felt, you know, I've gone through some painful moments, yes. And at the same time, everything has felt very, like, magical. And even, like, I don't know, things look different. They feel different. I feel different. And I feel like 
mo like a lot of us are just like we're being held in this like suspended animation almost we're like being held back because it's so important for us to rest to integrate the light codes to ground to really do our inner healing work because what it feels like is once this like solar flare actually like the big one actually does happen what i feel like is there's gonna be a lot of need for us <laughs> to step up and do the work that we came here to do it's sort of like these things that we've been doing in hiding it's like it's gonna happen and it's like we're gonna be able to come out and work in broad daylight and like do the work that we came here to do that's sort of a really interesting download that just sort of flew in um so I feel like this is another month of like really um slowing down and evaluating really getting raw open authentic with yourself and with how you're showing up in relationships how are you showing up in the relationship with yourself how do you show up in the relationship as a um as a sister a brother a, a father a mother how are you showing up in a relationship as a romantic partner um how are you showing up in a relationship in your community how are you showing up in your relationship with mother earth how do you treat the earth how do you treat your mother like <laughs> these are like um it's it's those deeper questionings that we can really lean into and really evaluate as we go through these different rhythms and cycles of the seasons of the year so it's 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 important <laughs> to really step back and slow down because i feel like the more calm that we are now when there's all of this craziness in the world when that volume gets cranked up to like 103 <laughs> um it's going to be even more impart important how freaking calm and centered we remain which is you know why meditation is so important which is why doing our inner your healing work is important why facing our fears and and healing our shadows and it's it's more of that integrating and accepting our shadows that they're there and then it's like oh my gosh I am that person too like you know we talk about archetypal energies and it's like yeah, I, I carry and I embody the, you know, archetypal energy of the, you know, the high priestess. I also carry the, you know, archetypal energy of like, um, of, uh, like the, the devouring mother, the, um, uh, kind of like, you know, it's like, it's understanding and embracing the polarity that is within you, that I am, you know, both light and dark. And as we accept and, and integrate our energies and accept that, you know, it's about finding our unique balance of our unique ecosystem. And what that balance looks and feels like to you is going to be different from what feels right to me. Um, so that really interesting downloads rolling through with this video <laughs> we flow with it okay um so <laughs> we are gonna tune in and bring forth uh some light language and activations for this beautiful 1010 portal if you're wanting to go deeper with this portal we will be channeling a light language transmission that you would receive the audio for about a 30 minute meditation, a healing transmission. This month, I'm really feeling this deeper and deeper connection with our ancestors and specifically around the persecution wound. I'm honestly feeling a lot of healing that's going to be taking place this month in our womb space. And that doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, we all have a womb space. And it's like bringing a lot of healing there and persecution towards our sexuality is what I'm really feeling is, is going to be deeper with that. 
and and with our throats too our throat chakra and our sacral chakra are very connected our our sacral and our third eye is what's um we have our sacral and our third eye however the sacral and the throat are very connected so i feel like there is this expression and deeper persecution wound with our let's through our ancestors is what it's it's feeling like. Um, so that's the transmission we will be tuning into and creating on 1010. If you are interested in receiving that transmission, I will leave the information below how you can um, how you can receive that. Uh, they'll be recorded and sent out on the 10th. So let's go ahead and tune in. Gently closing your eyes. Taking a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. We call upon each and every one of our benevolent guides existing and operating in the highest order of light, the highest resonance of love to please join us here and surround us in divine protection. Bringing your awareness to your heart center. Seeing a beautiful flower of light here at your heart beginning to open and bloom. We set the intention that we are open to receive all that is for our highest and greatest good. Anything else we release to Mother Earth, we release over to God, Source, Creator. We call upon the violet flame of transmutation to clear and cleanse the space, the atmosphere, the energy within and around me, within and around us. Taking a deep breath in and out as we oh, sink into our bodies. Go upon the earth dragons, a yarukura tayukura tariukura tati. Thank you for helping us to ground our feet into the earth. Yareukura tatayukura tatayuku. Bringing your awareness to your feet. Yareaukura tatayukura tatayukura tati. Feeling your feet begin to sprout roots. Going deep into the earth, down through your earth star chakra. Allowing these roots to be plugged into the crystalline earth grid, into the new earth. We ask the earth dragons to remove any and all connections to the old earth grids. Any and all old earth grids that are siphoning and taking our energy in any space-time capacity. Yariukura, 
we go upon the water dragons and the dolphins. Rio Kuratatai, Kuratatai, Rio Kuratatai, to help us in clearing and cleansing any and all old connections, any and all connections that are keeping us stuck in the past. Rio Kura, Yaiura. The Rio Kura, the Tayari Kura, the Tayari. Yariu kura ta ta riu ra ta ta yariu kura ta riu kura u ra u ra u ra ya na u ya ti te u te u. Open your heart, little one. Yariu kura tatayu riyoku. Yariu ratatayu ku shatayanayu kura tatayu kura tati. The magic that is buried within you. Yariu ku is ready to expand. Yariu kura tatayu riyoku. Tareoku, will you allow it to grow? Yareoku rata to spread. Yareoku rata tayo ku rata tayo yareoku rata tayo ku to connect with your truth. Yareoku rata tayo ku rata tayo yareoku. Tareo rata te yareoku raya yu rata yuku. Adjust your frequency to see and feel and know the truth. Little one, you know the correct dial. Yariu kura tatayuru ku to tune into. Yariu kura tatayu kura. Tiyaru kura tatayu. This spark of truth that lies within your heart. Yariu kura tatayariu radanayu kushati. Deep breath in and out. Guru kusha tayareo. Te yoru ayaya. Te yoru re. Bu ayaya. Bu ayaya. Bu ayaya. Bu ayaya. Bu ayaya. Bu ayaya.
Rise, dear sisters and brothers. Yuriyuku shatayu ra nayuku ra tayuku shati. Follow your joy. Yuriyuku shati. Follow what lights up your heart. Yuriyuku rati. All the answers that you seek can be found within your passions. Yuriyuku rata tayu. Within your desires. Yuriyuku ratati. Within your heart's truest desires. Yuriyukurati. All the answers that you seek can be found here. Yuriyukuratati. The truth of who you are, your innocence, your divine spark. Yuriyukuratayukushatayariyukuyatayoshati. Yuriyukurati. Release the shame. Release the guilt. Hand it over to God, your angels, to the earth. Release it and set it down. Giriu kuratatayu kuratati ayu. Yanayu ratatayu. There is nothing shameful about you or your existence or your body or your desires. Giriu kuratatayu riu kuratatayu ru yanayu kuratata. It is time this. Yuriyukurata's programming comes to an end. Yuriyukurayayukuratatayurayayukuratay. Tune into your truth. Yuriyukuratati and allow your heart to guide you. Yuriyukurati. Allow it to guide you out of the darkness. Yuriyukuratatayurayayuratatay. Yiriuru yayukuratati. When you have trouble seeing with your eyes, tune within to your inner eye. Yiriukurata, your inner knowing. Yiriukuratatayukuratatayuratati to your unique GPS system. Yiriukuratatayukuratatayuku. Unlock the truth and step forward. Yuriyukur, it is time for new beginnings and new cycles of growth. Yuriyukuratati, for new civilization. Yuriyukuruturtatayu, honoring the past and moving forward. Yuriyukuratatayuriyaku, honoring our divine connection within the all. Yuriyukuratatayuku, shtayuriyaku, rayayuku. Shayayuku, 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 Taking a deep breath in and out as you breathe into your heart and exhaling from your mouth, <sighs> inhaling through the heart and exhaling mouth. <sighs> One more deep inhale through the heart. And exhale, mouth. Taking this time to tune into your heart and let us call upon your highest light. We invite you in. And we ask if there are any messages for us at this time and allowing our hearts to open up and receive that message, that feeling, that animal, that word.
thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you to each and every one of our benevolent guides existing and operating in the highest order of light, the highest resonance of love. We give thanks to Mother Earth. Yiryoku ratatayoku shati to the earth, the air, the fire, and the water elements. Yuruku rayayoku. We thank you to each and every one of our benevolent guides existing and operating in the highest order of light, the highest resonance of love. We thank you for joining us here at this time. We thank you to our ancestors, our angels, our ascended masters, to the fairies, the elementals, the dragons and unicorns, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you to the dolphins and whales. We thank you to all of our star brothers and star sisters for joining us. We pray for peace, prosperity, and abundance for all. Bringing your hands to heart center in Anjali Mudra prayer pose, thumbs to sternum, taking a deep breath in and out, giving thanks and gratitude for this day, for this month of transformation and healing and clarity and wisdom and joy and blessings and all of the beautiful abundant energies that October is bringing in for each and every one of us. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Satnam, Namaste, Amen. <laughs> Woo! Those are always such a joy to be able to share and channel these with you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you for showing up and doing the work and being here and being a light light worker, earth angel, star seed, galactic shaman, healer, teacher, beautiful human being on this earth. I thank you for being here. I thank you for the likes, the comments, subscribing to our channel. We thank you so much for the support and it really helps. Uh, to get our videos out there when you do share, when you like, when you comment. It helps with the algorithm. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It helps with that and helps other, it helps people find our videos. So thank you. And please remember to drink plenty of water after receiving these light codes and transmissions. If you are interested in diving a bit deeper with these energies and feel called to, uh, feel called to dive a deep, uh, dive a bit deeper with womb healing and throat chakra healing this month. Uh, you can sign up to receive that transmission. We'll leave the info below. Sending you all so much love and blessings on this month ahead. We will have a pick a card, an October pick a card up for you shortly, and I will link that below when it's ready. Sending you all, <coughs> oh, lots of love and blessings. Don't forget to drink plenty of water. <coughs> Um, <laughs> make sure you spend time in nature, ground, center yourself, stay really focused on what feels right to you, what feels best to you, really tune into those grounding frequencies that feel right to you and yeah, sending you lots of love. <laughs>